Hi guys, once again I'm in the kitchen with a request from the kids. They wanted pizza. So I'm gonna share my homemade pizza recipe with you guys. Keep watching. You're gonna see how I make this pizza with very few ingredients. Simple, easy to make, anyone could follow along. It's Caribbean Ducks. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new, I'm glad you can be here. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll get started with two cups of all-purpose flour. You don't need to get any special type of bread flour or anything. Regular all-purpose flour. Some mozzarella cheese, about eight ounces. Sharp cheddar cheese. Olive oil. Dry activated yeast. And this is my homemade Italian seasoning. Have everything that we need. Some leftover marinara sauce that I made the other day. And a pinch of salt. Simple, easy ingredients. You have most of these ingredients in your house, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna start with a third of a cup of water, room temperature. And then we're gonna go in with a half a tablespoon of regular granulated sugar. And this is to feed the yeast so it can be activated and ready to be used. Now we add a one packet of dry activated yeast and then we're gonna give it a good mix. And we're gonna set that aside for about five to seven minutes until the yeast has started growing and activating. And the way we know that is it's gonna start foaming. So now we're gonna make a little well in the flour. Add our yeast, as you can see that it's foaming here. And that's exactly what we need. Just pour it right in. And we're gonna go ahead and start the mixing process. So we gently stir it around, mix it up so the wet ingredients get incorporated. And now we can go in with our hands and give it a good mix. And what we're gonna start doing here, we're gonna knead our dough and make it a nice and gluey. So after about seven to eight minutes, we're gonna add some olive oil to this and let it sit for a little while. And what we're trying to accomplish here is for the gluten to set. So we're gonna cover this down and let it sit for about an hour and a half in a nice warm location. And it will double in size as you see here. It's been sitting around. Now we're gonna punch it and remove some of those air. And we're gonna knead it a little bit more. Just fold it into itself, so easy. Just like you're making bread or roti, just fold it into itself, bring it into flour our surface right now and we're gonna continue to knead it a little bit more just folding it in in halves and pulling it into the center and now we're gonna get it to a nice smooth we're just gonna roll it up stretch our dough pull it down towards the bottom tuck it in and we're gonna let it sit for another half an hour while our oven come up to temperature. So now we flow out our surface for the last time and we're gonna go ahead and start spreading it out into a nice circle. Now I'm using a mesh so that I can keep the crust nice and crunchy and crispy and it can cook from the bottom up. So after I spread it out, I'm gonna go in with my grated sharp cheddar. We're gonna make our crust and fold it over so we have a cheesy crust. Nice and easy. Just fold it in to fold in the edges and capture all that cheese in the crust. And 
make sure to tuck in all the edges so the cheese will stay in. And now we're going with our marinara sauce. Give it a nice ladder, tin layer. Even put some on the crust. Yeah, we want every part of this pizza to be delicious. Now we're going with our shredded cheese. This is all mozzarella, about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. And now we're gonna sprinkle on lavishly our Italian seasoning and pop it in the oven for about 25 minutes. And we're done. Here we have it, a homemade pizza, quick and easy. If you have kids, grandkids, try this one. So simple and easy. And if you have any extra sauce, just top it off. If you have some slices of tomatoes, whatever topping you want to put, you go ahead and put it on. Here it is, guys. We're getting to cut into this. And go ahead and serve it up. It cooled off a little bit, ready to be eaten. A homemade pizza with fresh ingredients. Now, I don't have a pizza knife, so I'm using a regular kitchen knife to cut right through. Show you what it looks like inside. And the kids are getting hungry and they're ready to eat. I'm gonna give it a try. Looks delicious, smells so good. Nice and cheesy, that's my slice. So here's the expert. There you have it. Thank you, Daddy. Looks like another happy customer. And I had to give it a try. It's delicious. Nice and crunchy. Thank you guys for watching. Come back and watch more videos like this. Please subscribe, give me a like, a comment, thank you, have a wonderful day.